YouTube, how's it going? John here at Herman Woodworks. Decided to order up a couple of new tools recently. Um, if you're, you know, I'll just note now, if you're a Milwaukee fan, if you're a DeWalt fan, Makita, any of that, you can probably just switch it now. You're not going to want it because anybody that's followed along, I have mostly rigid stuff. Well, actually, that's all I have is rigid stuff. Um, for what I use it for, I've loved the stuff. I've had no problem with it. Um, I haven't had to return anything with their warranties, but I have registered it. It's, you know, everything comes with their limited lifetime warranty or whatever. Um, what I had to order this time was I ran into a situation running the tractor out in the field. I blew a hydraulic line and I had a splice kit to put it on, but you can't just cut those lines with anything and I did not have I couldn't get it back over here I didn't actually don't even have a corded angle grinder so I ran into a situation had to call up a friend and borrowed their Milwaukee angle grinder well since I have all the DeWalt stuff I never had a need for one really before because everything mostly I do is woodworking well the time has come ordered myself a rigid four and a half inch angle grinder. Let's uh, get this thing unboxed and get a look at it. Get a first impression here. All right, so I've got it flipped around before I go cutting it open. Just wanted everybody to see what the model is. And let's get the knife out, get this thing out. Okay, first thing out of the bag, got the actual tool itself. Metal, not plastic. Guards metal. Give you your grinding wheel, a tool for taking it on and off. all your manuals registration for the warranty all that kind of stuff and last but not least a handle for screwing on either side it's got the left or right actually it's got even on the top chances are I'll usually use it like this but it does have it top dead center and or left depending on your choice of how you want to operate it all right let's get a battery on this thing and get it uh, set up All right, much like a lot of other tools, you got your lock button up top, fold that, give you your tool, goes in these. Okay, let's get a battery on it. It's got a good balanced feel. All right, it's fired up. This has a finger lock pressing it down and then sliding it up. And I do believe it locks if I hold it up. All right, first impressions. I mean, this thing's really solid. I do like how the battery is kind of kicked up from the face. So that kind of gets it up out of the way if you're trying to work on like a flat surface area. Um, kind of really forms with your hand. 
Um, one of the other nice little features I see, actually let me take the battery off of this. One of the nice other little features I see here is it's just on the side of the guard, it's got a little button and you can just self rotate this thing and you know it locks back into place, press it again and move it around. So you can kind of tool this, move this around depending on how you're trying to cut. That's a pretty nice little feature. I figured you might have to use like an Allen key or something to adjust it, but that's a nice little feature. So yeah, this thing feels solid. It probably weighs, I'm guessing, probably a good five pounds or so, maybe. I'll have to look at the manual, see what it says, but feels about that. But uh, yeah, definitely digging it. All right, so YouTube went on uh, went on Home Depot's website and I was spot on. Thing comes in at five pounds. I don't know if that's give or take with the battery. It did not specify. Even with the battery most, it's six pounds. But this thing has a nice, good, solid feel in your hands. Um, gonna be doing a lot more stuff with like the tractors and that. So actually I'm gonna start to need this. I have a couple of uh, implements that I wanna start cleaning up. So I'll probably get a wire wheel and that for this to start doing those projects. Get uh, some of those implements painted and taken care of. But um, yeah, first impressions, really, really happy. Can't wait, maybe we'll do a trial with this on some equipment, but um, definitely impressed. Like I said, if you're a Milwaukee lover, DeWalt, Makita, you're not gonna care about this, but to anybody else that's a rigid tool user, it's awesome. From what I can tell so far, super pumped. Can't wait to uh, get out there. Get out there and fire this thing up. All right, just going over how to take on and off the wheel on this. Just like I said before, battery off. One finger on this, pressing up, taking that spanner wrench, and then taking it after it locks. Clockwise, you have to keep holding that button, and then you can just hand remove that. Now, you can see it stays locked, okay. Taking this off. Now, just reading the manual real quick, I'll zoom in on the page real quick. Note for this is, I guess they call this a Type 27 cutting wheel. You'll notice that this is raised up. It's not, it's not flat, how it's raised up. So the, the flat ones are called a Type 1. This is apparently called a Type 27. This is what you need to buy for it. It will not, they don't, they don't, it does not go with the type ones. So I'll show you the page real quick, but just wanted to touch base with that. And then obviously, like I said, right now it stayed locked, putting it back on, positioning that on there, taking your nut, Just hand tightening that back down. Should just finger roll on there. Taking your spanner wrench and just giving it a nice little turn to the right. Boom. Right here in the manual is where I read that. You know, using only the Type 27 depressed center grinding wheels. Just kind of goes over reading the manual what kind of what kind of tooling you can use for it, wire brushes, things like that. You know they. I'm sure it's because of uh, warnings, you know, they don't want you using like, I don't know if anybody's seen some of these uh, wood grinding wheels for like heavy removal. They don't recommend it, but yeah, it doesn't hurt to actually read the manual. One particular improvement I think I would be cool with these is anytime I have a tool that needs a special wrench, Allen key, anything like that, it would be cool if there was some way of actually storing this the only thing i could think of is it seems like i could do something where it's stored inside here obviously that protrudes out pretty big but if anybody has any cool ideas for um yeah where to keep this obviously yeah usually you could just keep it in a gear bag but it would be nice if it was just on board if you were changing a wheel on the fly um yeah, it would just be nice if maybe somehow it could store in the handle. If I had to nitpick one thing, I, that would be kind of cool with this. All right, YouTube, final little notes on this. Obviously, doing woodworking, I've always preached 
safety equipment. Um, might have to step the game up on this. Obviously, safety glasses are a must, hearing protection, but honestly, especially for this, for the way the debris could potentially fly off of this, probably gonna go to Harbor Freight or somewhere, maybe go on Amazon, see if I can find something for an actual flip down visor, something to protect more of the whole face. Um, I've heard some really horrible stories on some of these. Not, I mean, this is a pretty thick cutting wheel, but I've heard some and seen some pretty really gruesome pictures on what these can do. So do not take safety even remotely. Just practice safety. Don't end up in the hospital because of these. Um, yeah, so definitely have to go online, get some additional safety equipment for this. Hearing protection, the whirling sound that this one's gonna make, especially if you're grinding on something, that's that super high pitch sound that is just really gonna damage your eardrums. So additional safe protect, safety protection for the face, additional hearing protection, yeah. But other than that, YouTube, as always, it's been awesome. We got a couple other new tools, gonna do some videos for here soon. Did some, uh, like I said, some birthday shopping for myself. I uh, got a rigid grease gun that I want to go over and an actual impact driver, actually impact wrench for especially, like I said, a lot of this stuff is going to be starting geared towards um, my tractor stuff, but obviously I'm going to be able to use it for a lot of other things also, applications, but yeah, things to look forward to. YouTube, once again, it's been awesome and I'll talk to everyone again soon.